Yeah, so uh, do you like to travel? Think about it. Uh, I know I like, and I like to record every step of the way. So for example, here's my recent trip to Spain and also to Portugal. And apart from the fact that Sevilla is a great city, what can we learn from that? Well, for example, what is my impact, right? What is the impact of this travel? Carbon footprint, you might think. Yeah, sure. But also maybe this. So this is a mosquito. Well, all right, this is not an actual mosquito and thankfully it's also not to scale. But this one is a real thing. So this is a tiger mosquito. And this is one of the species that can be vectors. That is, they can carry diseases such as Zika, Dengue, Chikungunya, and malaria. And the way it works is that an infected mosquito bites a human, human becomes infected, and then an infected human is then bitten by an uninfected mosquito. And this is how it's transmitted from human to human, but through the mosquito as a vector, hence it is a vector. And this is going on and on and on. And we've known for almost 100 years now that mosquitoes can be transported by airplanes. And even if you disinfect the airplanes, they can kind of still live on. But we also have more recent evidence that they can also be carried in cars. Basically, people just drive them around. Even more recent evidence suggests that mosquitoes that are genetically similar at close and medium proximity, and that is your commuting distance and go to shop distance, uh, they are similar. And that is another evidence that they are probably transported, trans transported by humans. So the way it works is you have this inactive vector network and the disease is not transmitted between mosquitoes. But then humans come along and they drive and they cycle and they fly and they can basically activate this network and hence start running this model of transmission between humans through mosquitoes. So looking back at my trip in Spain and Portugal, I'm thinking that my impact could be somewhat larger than just carbon footprint. And what could be the data sources that we could use to understand human mobility and therefore also spread of mosquitoes? Well, classical data sources are census data, population surveys, but these are quite costly and they mostly inform us about regular commutes. Even though I know in Spain, uh, the census is now register based and it's only almost fully automated, but still new data sources such as digital traces from mobile phones or call detail records data can help us much better understand human mobility, not just commuting patterns, but also migration patterns and also shopping patterns and non-regular trips. And therefore we can understand the spread of mosquitoes much better. Thank you.